Okay, and welcome to my first tutorial. Um, we're initially going to deal with the installation of VirtualBox. Um, VirtualBox is an interesting product. It's free to download as well, which I'll post the URL with this video. Um, what you're able to do with it, really, is have an operating system within an operating system. So, I mean, I've got Windows Vista here. Um, I can install VirtualBox, and I can install a Virtual... I can install... Windows XP for instance or a Linux OS with inside that. So this tutorial shows you how to install it. Um, part 2 will show you how to set up the drives inside it. Part 3 will be, I think we're going to use an Ubuntu installation, show you how that runs and get it all set up. Um, before we start I'd like to thank Dan Goodman for giving me this idea. Um, he does a lot of tutorials with a piece of software called Blender, does some really good 3D rendering stuff um, and I'll post his URLs to his site and his YouTube um, videos as well. Right, so if we just pull up my downloads area, um, go into downloads, here we have VirtualBox that I downloaded earlier. So we want to double click on that one and run it. Do a next, accept the terms of the agreement. We don't want to put it on the desktop with the quick launch bar, or press next to that and install that. This is all pretty mundane stuff, but I say once we get into um, VirtualBox a bit more, we'll look at the networking side, we'll go through the settings, and we'll look at just what this piece of software is actually capable of. Good old this. I feel safe already. Come on. Okay, all well that's basically saying there is it's um, a little add on that links the virtual PC to your main PC so that you can use USB items. And here we go, this is so it can use the neural network card and get out to the internet. Same with that one. We're nearly there. And we're done. So we're going to untick that, press fin. Well, that's part one. Hope you stick around for part two. Thank you very much.